All right, Sunday League preview. We've got LSA still favorites with New Cosmo up to back up Gamer15. Jake's down to the CL. Um, even better teammate, so LSA favorites to go back-to-back -back for the Constructors. Andrews, Hyperion, Enigma all there to challenge for the uh, the Drivers' Championship, though, this time. Sobel and Rams also a great tag team, but they don't have a great car with the Scuderia Paracaro uh, outfit this year. Uh, a couple of livery tweaks. Flow Force going for the white with the accents of blue and pink. We've also got the almost entirely black Black Blizzard and a nice navy and gray Nordic Thunder outfit. All right, let's go to the tracks. Okay, so we've got, again, Hockenheim, Nürburgring, Hungary, Bahrain. And then in the CL, we'll have Italy, UAE, Brazil, and France, Le Mans. So some new tracks up here this time. And some... All right, we got the wet quality. We've got to watch the first quality here. I think we'll make that a thing. Watch the first quality from now on. Gamers out front as expected, but not way out in front like it used to be. And look, here we got Enigma challenging the wet quality in Hockenheim. Saying stuff here, Season 4, the SL Massive Mother Goose Sim is underway. ST25 right up there with Kasana. With a really good RBR car. No, it wasn't able to do it. Gamer Enigma Iceberg, ST and, well, Russo British and VEO looking great. And Cosmo up there in the top 10, so a little bit more support for Gamer on his quest to the front. And uh, Juicy Melon up there in 8th. All right, we got rain at Hockenheim once again. Some on the inters, some on the wets. It is still raining and getting wetter. So I'd say disadvantage to Enigma right there up front and uh, Andres as well. We have a great clean start on the first lap. Enigma holding off the two Russo British cars coming strong from behind and I don't know, there's something wrong with Enigma's grip, not handling the tires as well. Obviously, the fully wet track on the intermediates, but uh, the Andrews is climbing the Greater Hyperion as well, moving up, so uh, it's not completely the whole story here. It's Hyperion into sixth place already for Fox and Goose. Fox and Goose has exceptional grip on their car as well as Russo British, so uh, that's why Kasana could be catching Gamer. As he still stays ahead of ST25, just took a pass. Oh, wasn't able to hold it, but Enigma really struggling on those tires now. Okay, a little bit further down. We've got Juicy Melon moving up into sixth spot against Iceberg. Andres, and here comes Sobel driving that beater of a Scuderia Pericaro car. And just getting everything he can out of it as we go by the bottom of the grid. Oh, what do we got? Eurus all the way down in last place for. Gamer in for new wet tires. Taking the intermediates and probably a winning strategy right there. SC25 milking another lap on the wets as well as Kasana. Now he will have that much fresher tires for the end of the race. But Gamer15 is probably going to get past. Everyone else doing the the 4-2 split. And Gamer well on his way. So we'll see if the uh, inners hold up that extra lap. Three to five laps they're geared at. And here comes Kasana on the better set of inter tires right now. Everybody ending the race on intermediates. A great debut here in Hockenheim. And here comes Gamer 15. One more lap to go after this. Winding through the end of the track. And we are going to have a dry track soon. Dry track soon and Warren enters. Let's see if Kasana can pull out any stops on the last half. It won't be that big an effect here on the straightaway. But Enigma, Hyperion, Andrews is catching ST. But that gap is not closing on Gamer. Will he struggle through this sector? A little bit on the grass, a little bit squirrely. 
But I don't think it's going to be enough unless he hits the sand right here. Nope. Gamer15 is going to win in Hockenheim. Enigma off. ST by Hyperion. Juicy Melon, Sobel, Mosca Brevis all skidding into the finish. But Gamer15 on top and Kasana an amazing. P2, Enigma on the podium, and ST back from his sabbatical. <clears throat> Refocused and rejuvenated, ready to go. In the top five, Hyperion picking up the fast lap. Sobel in P8. Will that be the peak for SCP? It's Enigma on pole this time with Cosmo up in P4, Mosca Brevis. Here we go at the Nurburgring. Starting on the enters as the track is slightly wet. We are away cleanly here at the Nurburgring. Gamer makes the pass early and Kasana going outside on Enigma as well as Cosmo looks to the inside. Enigma wants to take that position right back and does, does so cleanly. The LSA is running 2-3. Kasana right into the back of Cosmo. As the midfield starts to sort itself out, Andre's up ahead into fifth place. <clears throat> so Enigma chases down, or gets chased down by Gamer. <laughs> into the lead now. Oh, we've been into the sand as well, and Kasana catches right back up to the pack now. They've got to get off those intermediate tires now. Will they go for the hards? Mediums chosen and softs for gamer. Okay, so we'll see the strategies. There are hards on the board here. Andrews and Iceberg. So I don't know which is the better strategy here. It looks like mediums is the popular choice overall. This gamer puts on a big gap early on, but as that degradation ensues. We'll see. Kasana currently in second. And Cosmo working to stay ahead of Enigma. Andrew's in fifth. So we look through the pack there. Some hard racing going on. Back in the midfield as well. Closer to the front. Gamer comes in for another set of tires. Oh boy. The double change. Cosmo as well. Andrew stays out on the hards. Kasana stays out on the mediums, but is going to have really, really worn down mediums. So Andrew's strategy on the hards might pay off. Iceberg also rocking the hards, still out on them. No, oh, no, Gamer comes up and just passes both of them quite easily. Too much speed, too much grip on the fresh tires. Both of these drivers struggling, limping around the track. Cosmo may even catch them. Gamer just flying to victory right now. And here comes Cosmo for the pass. Hyperion should get a pass in as well. Oh, Enigma and Iceberg. Oh my god. Mediums were not the choice. Famucius, even with a pass on the double. Wow, great strategies. <laughs> with an excellent race on his part. But Kasana dropping way off the pace. Unfortunate for RBR. But LSA looking lovely again. Gamer dominant lead. And a 17 point lead for LSA. We're going to do the Hungaro ring next. All right, Enigma, another pole. And the front row is filled out by Hyperion, Fox and Goose, VEO up there with Mosca and Iceberg as well. Jewel in fourth, Gamer all the way down in fifth. Very interesting at the starting grid. All right, here we go, in Hungary.
Shulo working on the outside and now to the inside. Enigma holding the lead through the first half of the lap. Andrew's making some moves from the back. Gamer in fifth place now past. Andrew's trying to stay close on those hards and slipstream the rest of the pack, but no, Gamer just like shoots right ahead of everyone. Hyperion looking good out in front now. Enigma, then a big pack. Julo getting passed by Gamer. There he goes. Mosca Brevis taking the pass on Andrews as well. And Eurus coming up from behind. Hyperion's in the pits already. Enigma staying out for some more. And Gamer on the mediums. Andrews on the hards. And Mosca, they're both going to get by Gamer momentarily. Getting held up. That will help the rest of the pack as the front driver, Enigma, pulls away. I wonder if they'd be pitting now. Nope. Oh, Andrews goes in. Andrews goes in. Enigma stays out. Mosca Brevis stays out. Hyperion on the fresher tires. Gamer 15 on to fresh mediums as well. Rams up in the top 10, a rare sight, but only because of this zero stopper he's got going on right now. He's got to get into the pits fast. Those tires are just absolutely shredded. And here come Gamer and Cosmo, the tag team duo. Cosmo in for the two stop. Gamer staying out. Working on those leaders right now Hyperion's tires are fading fast he's gonna have to hold on as Andrews charges and Gamer is right behind Eurus is almost out of grip on his softs but Enigma's got fresh softs so Enigma is on the charge here at the Hungaro ring looking at the last lap right now Hyperion almost out of grip completely Andrews should chase him down but not before Gamer and Enigma do Enigma pass Gamer. The leaders onto the gravel. Enigma has two more turns to put the pass on. He's by Hyperion. Can he get by Andrews? It's not going to be enough. Andrews is going to win it. Four. Andrews also grabbing the fast lap. And the rest of the back of the grid there. Iceberg are disappointing 14th. As well as Juicy Melon all the way back in 19th. Okay, so we are off to... Oh, oh, should look at these standings first. Gamer's 9 up. Andrews is probably the only one who can catch him. And no one's going to catch LSA in the Constructors. Bahrain. Amazingly, Enigma takes another pull. Mosca Brevis on the front row. Juicy Melon all the way up in third. Great track for the RRT. It seems as Gamer's in fourth. Man, Nomscar in sixth, definitely a different track for a lot of these teams. RBR not as strong with uh, less speed. They have the grip. Uh, same with FGR. Main Grand Prix. We have some drivers starting on the hards. Lots of drivers starting on the hards and mediums. Sauce won't get you far in this tough track in Bahrain. The RRT strongly out in front of Andrews into third. Cosmo and Gamer followed by Mosca Bravis who dropped four positions. But using the slipstream to his advantage. Staying in it. Enigma is broken away from the pack. Juicy Melon's getting chased down by Mosca and Cosmo up front as well. Gamer held up in the uh, traffic. But Enigma and Cosmo primarily ahead because they do not have the hard tires. And here comes Eurus. Speaking of tires. Making a charge of his own on the softs and just going inside to Mosca. Great pass. And here we go. We got Cosmo battling and charging for the lead. He's got to go into the pits now. Those soft tires can only last one. One stint. Uh, two laps. Cosmo in. <clears throat> Three laps on the hards will barely get you there. A two-stopper 
on mediums even is probably a good strategy. Cosmo is going to slice through the rest of this field, but I see it's splitting uh, two sets of hards right down the middle could be the way to go. As we see Cosmo pulling back up ahead of Gamer as Andrews works on a fourth hard lap. He's probably going to try and go for the softs or the mediums. This could be another winning strategy for Andrews. Here comes Enigma. Brand new softs against gamers. Brand new hards. Cosmo's got to go in for another set. We got two laps to go. Right now it's Gamer. We've got Enigma giving chase. He's got to do it now. He's got to do it now or he won't be able to later. The grip is just disappearing on those tires. Oh, here we go. Andrews and Cosmo, they do have some life left for a rundown. Eurus tires are done. Mosca barely there. Gamers way up in front. Enigma's tires are gone. Andrews tires are disappearing very fast. Gamer looks like he's gonna hold on. And we've got your three time drivers world champion. There you have it, Gamer takes it, Cosmo with the fast lap, LSA just, just running the show, absolutely, again this year, Andrews, Enigma, Kasana, great, uh, great showing from Kasana and RBR, Sobel, P7 there, that's a, I think that's a season high for SCP, disappointing finish for Nuno there. Championship standings, 14-point win for Gamer over Andres. Enigma in third, again, well well done for Rapids Racing and Hyperion. Definitely showing that he's becoming a staple at the top of the grid. Russo British Racing did very well this year, and I think they probably got second. I don't know, Black Blizzard got second in the Constructors. So congrats to LSA and Gamer15 in the fourth season of SL.